For those of you guys who are wondering if the Apple Watch Ultra 2 works with sleeve tattoos, you'll find out in this video. How's it going? What I want to do today, maybe trade in my Apple Watch Ultra. If the Apple Watch Ultra 2 better on guys with tattoos like me. So if I trade this in, they'll give me $380, which means I just lost a whopping f over 400 bucks. A year ago, I actually made a video if the Apple Watch Ultra, which is the first one I have on my wrist, works with people that have tattoos, specifically sleeve tattoos. When I made that video, it kind of works, depends on where you put on your wrist. For me, what I found out was I have to wear right above my wrist bone. And on top of wearing it right above my wrist bone, I can only wear it on the right side of my wrist. And I'll show you why. Because on my right side of my wrist, an area where it's not heavily tatted up. Good luck wearing on my left side. That is heavily tatted up, really dark ink. But I'll show you what I mean first. So I've unlocked the Apple Watch. And as long as I wear this specific spot, no matter how much I move it, it's not going to lock. And that's the biggest problem with the Apple Watches all the way back when they first came out with guys like me that have sleeve tattoos. So on my right side, it works. But sometimes, depending on what wristband I wear and how tight I wear them when I'm working out, especially when I'm running and doing some activities, it does still lock. And for some reason, when I get very sweaty, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, Man, it's so annoying. So what I'm thinking is just go to the Apple store, buy the Apple Watch Ultra 2, do a review if it works with people with sleep tattoos like me. If it works, I might keep it, then I'm stuck with this one. I might just sell it. And if it doesn't, then I'll just return it. No harm, no foul. This one works anyway, kinda. Here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna do a little bit more testing only if it passes the initial testing as far as the Apple Watch Ultra working with the sleeve tattoos. Now the test I'm gonna do is very simple. On my right side, it's gonna work. Well, at least I think it's gonna work because the Ultra one works on the right side as long as I wear it snugly and just a hair above the wrist bone. Now, if I wear it on my left side, a lot more dark ink there, and then it keeps locking itself, then I know it doesn't work. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to return this bad boy. All right, let's unbox this thing. All right, well, here we go. I'm gonna create a passcode. So that's snug. Put a passcode on, re-enter passcode. All right, so now it's obviously it's asking for a passcode, right? You know what? Oh, it locked. It locked, let's do it again. It locked. Verdict, moving it to the heavily inked wrist, both watches does not work. So same sensor, same everything, more than likely. That being said, since both of them are the actual the same, the minor upgrades is not enough for me to jump to the Ultra 2. I just really want to test that with a tattoo if it's any better as far as the sensor, you know, because it has a new chip. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. But since we know now that it doesn't work or it does work the same as the Ultra 1, I don't need it. So if you have an Ultra 1 already and you're able to figure out a way to make it work with your tattoos or you disable the wrist detection, just keep your Ultra 1. If you don't have one yet, yeah, sure, get the Ultra 2. It's really nice. It's newer chip. If you learned something in this video, even just a tiny bit, go ahead and hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. My name is Bombo. Wait, I think I should try a few more tests, but we'll see.